Hello students as promised I am back with a new chapter with a new passion and the name of the chapter is again the same sound of music part 2 here we are going to know about bismillah khan and his connection with the shehnai and his life the shehnai of bismillah khan is a part 2 of sound of music let us start with the history of shehnai how shehnai got recognition how it came into existence emperor aurangzeb banned the playing of pungi in the palace the reason was that it has a sharp and unpleasant sound a barber thought to improve it he chose a pipe with a natural hollow stem he made seven holes on its body he played on it closing and opening some of these holes it produced a sweet sound he played it before the royalty royalty means before the king in the court of the king it needed a name this instrument needed a name so it was named after the player as the player was a nai nai means barber it was first played in the shah's chamber that is king's chamber and the two words shah and nai they were fused together and the instrument was named as shehnai now this is this was the history of shehnai how shehnai came into existence and how it got its name now let us go to shehnai and bismillah khan how bismillah khan and shehnai got connected the sound of the shehnai was considered auspicious was considered sacred so it was played in temples and at weddings in north india earlier it was part of the traditional music groups ustad bismillah khan has brought it onto the classical stage so here we came to know that bismillah khan gave a classical recognition to the shehnai now let us read about bismillah's childhood his parents and his birth as a 5 year old bismillah khan played gilli danda near a pond in damrao in bihar he would go to the nearby bihari ji temple there he would sing the bhojpuri chaita at the end he would earn a big laddu weighing 1.25 kg he earned this big laddu for singing the bhojpuri chaita at bihari ji temple it was on behalf of the local maharaja this happened 80 years ago the little boy later earned the bharat ratna bharat ratna it is the highest civilian honor of india this is all this was all about bismillah's childhood now let us know about his birth and his parents bismillah khan was born on march 21 1916 i repeat march 21 1916 in a family of musicians in bihar that means bismillah khan's birthplace was bihar birth state was bihar march 21 1916 in bihar his grandfather rasul baks khan was the shehnai nawaz of the bhojpur king's court 
his father pagambar bugs and other ancestors were great shehnai players ancestors means the forefathers we can say bismillah khan as a young singer how he was as a young singer how he has taken singing as his career how he has opted singing as a career the young boy bismillah khan took to music early in life very early he started music at 3 that means at the age of 3 his mother took him to his maternal uncle's house in banaras he was attracted towards his uncle's practice of shehnai his uncle his maternal uncle was practicing shehnai then he was fascinated and he was attracted towards shehnai so he started going to his uncle ali bugs to the vishnu temple in varanasi to play the shehnai with his uncle ali bugs he started going vishnu temple in varanasi to play shehnai and to see how he is playing so he started practicing the playing of the instrument for years the temple of balaji and mangla maiya and the banks of the ganga became the places where he could practice so where bismillah khan was practicing at that time at balaji temple and at mangala maiya temple at the banks of the river ganga these are the practice areas for bismillah khan where he was practicing shehnai the flowing waters of the ganga inspired him to invent new ragas the flowing water of the river ganga used to fill bismillah khan with positive vibes and he was getting motivation through the flowing water through the waves of the river ganga and he used to invent new ragas um, looking at the flowing water of the ganga now bismillah's rise next heading is bismillah's rise how he has uh, developed himself how he came to be known as a renowned personality in india at the age of 14 when he was 14 bismillah accompanied his uncle to the alabad music conference he went to alabad music conference all along with his uncle the opening of all india radio in lucknow in 1938 opening of all india radio in lucknow in 1938 become a became a big break for him he got a break through that in 1938 the opening of all india radio means the inauguration uh, all india radio came into existence in lucknow in 1938 and it became a break point for the bismillah khan he became a shehnai player on radio now bismillah as the first indian bismillah khan became the first indian to greet the nation with the shehnai on august 15 1947 august 15 1947 that means our independence day the day on which we got independence on the same day bismillah khan became first indian as he was being greeted by the nation with his shehnai he played raag kafi ro uh, raag kafi on red fort to people like mahatma gandhi and pandit jawaharlal nehru he played raag kafi in front of people like mahatma gandhi and pandit jawaharlal nehru next head is bismillah khan goes abroad and his effect on film world what happened when 
Bismillah Khan went abroad and how it affected the film world in India. Bismillah Khan has given many memorable performances both in India as well as in abroad. His first trip to abroad was to Afghanistan. King Zahir Shah was deeply impressed by his Shehnai. He gave him priceless Persian carpets. Film director Vijay Bhatt was also greatly impressed by him. He named his film Gunj Uthi Shehnai after the instrument. After the instrument Shehnai, Vijay Bhatt has named his film which was Gunj Uthi Shehnai. The film was a big hit and his composition Dil Ka Khilona Hai Toot Gaya became a record breaker. Film world was not liked by Bismillah Khan. Bismillah Khan did not like film world. How? Let us know. Bismillah Khan's music in films didn't go beyond Vijay Bhatt's Goon Juti Shehnai and Vikram Srinivasa's Kannad film Sanadi Appana. He found the film world artificial and glamorous. He could not compromise with it. When he worked in two films, Vijay Bhatt's Goon Juti Shehnai and Vikram Srinivas Kannad movie, Sanadi Apana, he found that, Bismillah Khan found that film world is completely artificial. It is not natural. It is a world of glamour. And he did not want to compromise with it. Bismillah Khan wanted a real and natural world. But he found the film world completely opposite of it. And as Bismillah Khan did not like the film world, world, he quit working in that. He did not want it to work with the film world, in the film industry. Now, Bismillah Khan's awards. As a very renowned Shehnai player, Bismillah Khan has grabbed so many awards. He was being nominated and being felicitated with so many awards. Awards came in plenty for him. He became the first Indian to perform at the Lincoln Center Hall in the USA. It was a great pride for India. First Indian to perform at Lincoln Center Hall in the USA. He took part in the World Exposition in Montreal, in the Keynes Art Festival and in the Osaka Trade Fair. After that, he also participated in Keynes Art Festival and Osaka Trade Fair. An auditorium in Tehran was named after him, Tahar Musiki Ustad Bismillah. Khan. Again, it was a great pride as being Indian that an auditorium in Tehran was named after his name. And the name is Tahar Musiki Ustad Bismillah Khan. National awards like Padma Shri, the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Vibhushan were conferred on him. He also got Padma Shri, the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Vibhushan. Three of the most prestigious awards of India. Not only that, we are learning about the Bharat Ratna. The person who was being awarded with, with Bharat Ratna. In 2001, he was awarded India's highest civilian award, that is Bharat Ratna. At this, he said, teach your children music. This is 
Hindustan's richest tradition. Even the West is now coming to learn our music, that is classical music. Nowadays, we are just fascinated towards modern things, but we are literally forgetting about our culture, our heritage and our classical form of music, art, etc. But after getting, after being awarded with Bharat, Bharat Ratna, what Bismillah Khan said was teach your children music. We are diverting ourselves uh, towards modernization. But the fact is that the other countries, the foreign countries, they are imitating us. We are just going through modern things. But the other countries, the Western countries, they are following our culture. They are learning our music. So that's what the message given by Bismillah Khan, teach your children music. That is the Hindustani music, which is the richest tradition. Even the West is now coming to learn our music. Bismillah Khan's love for his root. Root means where he has born and brought up and his country. Bismillah Khan has traveled all over the world. But he is greatly fond of Banaras and Dumrao. A student of his once wanted him to head a Shehnai school in the USA. He promised to recreate an atmosphere of Banaras by making temples there. But Khan Saab asked him, if he would transport river Ganga there, that's the great thing. A student from USA wanted Bismillah Khan to head a Shehnai school, to open a Shehnai school in USA. And even that student promised Bismillah Khan to recreate the atmosphere of Banaras by making or by building temples over there, temple of Bihari ji and all. But Khan Sahab refused to do so. And he said, you can do everything, but you cannot transport River Ganga, my inspiration there. River Ganga, he considered as inspiration. And as I told you earlier, with the rising waves of River Ganga and looking at the water of River Ganga, he used to invent his ragas. So he said, you cannot transport river Ganga over there. If you can, if you can transport river Ganga there, then I would be able to do so. I would be able to head the school of Shehnai there. He says that whenever he is abroad, he yearns to see Hindustan. Whenever he goes to foreign, he just wanted to see Hindustan. He wanted to uh, see India. He used to miss India. While in Mumbai, he thinks of only Varanasi and the Holy Ganga. He was so attached with Varanasi and Holy Ganga. Whenever he used to work in Mumbai, he used to live in Mumbai, he used to visit in Mumbai, he used to miss Varanasi and the Holy Ganga River. And while in Varanasi, he misses the Matha in Dumrao. Not only this, when he, he used to be in Varanasi, he used to miss much in Dumrao. Now, as we have learned about or read about Bismillah Khan, the one most important thing which we came to know is Bismillah Khan loved India. He was a true patron. So, Bismillah Khan's life as a great example. We can take his life as a great example to mold ourselves. Ustad Bismillah Khan's life is a perfect example of rich cultural heritage of India. It accepts that a Muslim like him can play the Shehnai every morning at the Kashi Vishwanath temple, which tells us that there is no religion. The biggest religion is the 
humanity and bismillah khan was a great example which teaches us humanity which teaches us that we should not have walls of religion with this i am going to end this chapter hope you stay home stay safe let us meet with the next chapter next time